In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a skeletal mesh of a rounded cube so that it behaves like an interactive soft body in your levels. I'm going to begin here inside the content browser. And here you'll see SKM cube in our physics assets package. Now I don't want to do anything to the original, so I'm going to right click and create a copy of this and add underscore soft body to the end of it. And we'll double click on our new asset to open it up in the NM set editor. Now I do want to point out this is just a rounded cube that has been skinned to a very simple skeleton. The skeleton is only two bones, and all of the bones have been skinned. To, I'm sorry, all of the vertices have been skinned to bone one, so the little central bone that's dead center of the cube. So let's pull back, and I'm going to start off by going under the Mesh tab, and we're going to make sure that use, not simple box collision, excuse me, force CPU skinning is switched on. Now that's going to uncheck use packed position. Now if you're doing this on a custom mesh of your very own, you probably won't see this tetrahedron shape appear in the center. This is actually from a previous demo of this mesh. So at this point, you probably won't see anything, but that's okay. Now I'm going to scroll down, and we have a soft body group down here in the properties. And what we need to do is specify which bones contain the vertices that we will be using for our soft body calculations. And in this case, that's bone one. So here on soft body bones, we're going to add an item. And in the item, we need to type in the name of this bone, which is bone 01. So we've set up our soft body bone, and our next step is to establish the tetrahedron mesh, which is used to calculate the soft body. Now, you may not be familiar with how soft bodies work, but essentially, they create a network of vertices that are all constrained together. Consider a three-dimensional grid of dots, and all those dots would be connected by springs to one another. You'd, eff you'd effectively be defining a shape that you could compress and you could stretch out and would wobble and would shake, and that's essentially how a soft body works. What we need to do is create this network of springs so that we have something that can be used to calculate the shape of our soft body. Now, up here in the toolbar, we have Generate Soft Body Tetrahedron Mesh, which is actually creating this very simple tetrahedron you see here. If we scroll down in our properties, we have some settings that we can use to control this. We have soft body detail level, which is currently set to 0.5. I'm going to set that to 1 and take my soft body subdivision level and set this up to 9. Now, if I re-click generate soft body tetrahedron mesh, we get a nice looking mesh which replicates the overall shape of our rounded cube. Now, for different types of meshes, you will probably need to play with these settings and find something that works good for your particular project. Now, once we have that, we need to change a few of the settings. Now, all of the settings in here can be edited and controlled to get a variety of different behaviors. So what we're going to do is start off with soft body volume stiffness. So let's scroll up a little bit. And our volume stiffness, we're going to leave set to 1. Now, if you need this to be a stiffer soft body, you know, be a little more resilient against motion, then you can increase this. Now, we have our stretching stiffness, too, which controls how resistant this is going to be to stretching. We're going to pull this down to 0.25. Now, there's also a particle radius. Now, by default, this is set to 0.1. If we crank this up, like, really far, like, to a value of 1, basically, we're setting a huge radius around each one of the points around this grid which can cause our soft body to kind of float. So be aware of that. Now, I'm going to leave this at point 0.1 for now. And even with that, we can come up here to the very top and we have toggle soft body preview simulation. And you see that we've got some wobbliness taking place. Now let's take a look at actually placing this in our level now that we've got something set up. We'll close out of the NM set editor. I'm going to make sure that I have my soft body selected here in the content browser. Now I'll just right click here on the floor and choose Add Actor, and simply add this as a skeletal mesh. Now I'll move it up in the air because it'll be cool to watch it sort of fall a little bit. Let's open up the properties, and under the collision settings, we're going to set this to Block Weapons. Now let's open up the Skeletal Mesh Actor, open up Skeletal Mesh Component, and at the bottom you'll see Soft Body. Make sure that you check Enable Soft Body Simulation. Now I'll slide this over so we can read that. So this actually fires up the simulation. That's going to be important. Let's go ahead and set soft body awake on startup. 
Now, of vital importance is that we set up the appropriate collision channels. So we have soft body RB collide with channels. We're going to scroll down and activate default. And we'll also activate gameplay physics so that we can knock this soft body around with a K actor. Now, on that note, we need some sort of a K actor we can use to swat the soft body around. So I'm going to grab this little stacked crate over here, right click it, and choose Finding Content Browser. Immediately close the Content Browser, right click on it again, and we'll come down to Replace With and choose Add Rigid Body of the exact same mesh. So now this is something that we can pick up with the physics gun. So now let's try out our level. And you see our jello cube kind of tumbles to the ground. We can switch over to the physics gun and grab our static mesh. I'm sorry, our K actor. And we can push our little soft body around. So that's just a quick demonstration of how to take a basic skeletal mesh and turn it into a soft body that you can position in your levels, which is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot. Yes.